Hey friends, so today we are going to plant this window box here for fall. So in the summertime we got jazzberry, super tunias, and um, some saffron finch in there, um, and then some hoopla vivid, and I tore that out a couple weeks ago. But I really thought the ferns looked super good still, so I'm going to leave those there. And then I'm going to grab some fall pieces, and then we're going to make this into a really pretty fall window box. So come with me and I will kind of guide you around the store so I can show you guys what I'm gonna choose. So typically I like to go with some oranges and some yellows, um, but I'm really thinking I might do some pinks in there this year. Um, I like the way that there's like the cabbages have that little pink hue to them, almost like a purple hue to them. So I'm gonna pull off of that I think um, do some purple peppers and uh, maybe some splashes of yellow in there. So I'm going to go choose my flowers now. Okay, so now I have my cart is ready. I kind of have two of everything um, and let's go plant. First of all, as a garden center owner, I have to tell you, I was talked into getting these, this, these carts this spring and I wasn't, I was like, they're really nice, but I don't know if I need them. I needed them. These carts are amazing. They ride, or they like glide well, they roll well all over our rock and our pavers and everything. So if you are watching this and you're a garden center owner, you need these carts. They are a little bit pricey, but they are worth every single penny. Um, so that's just a side note. But now I'm gonna plant, um, let's see here. Probably start from the back is typically what I'll do with my taller pieces, and then I'll work my way forward. notice here like my roots here are a little bit starting to wrap um, so that's when I will kind of pinch off a little bit sometimes if it's like up here where it's a little bit more dark just solid soil I'll let it go but I'll probably break these up just a little bit because they are a little bit starting to round around that you can see the difference there this one's not super wrapped or anything so I'll probably just let this one go I won't break this one apart really So the one thing I love about these ornamental peppers is they'll actually kind of, if you put them upright in your container, they'll kind of fill. But if you put them up in the front and you tilt them a little forward, 
they're gonna give you more of a drapey look, so they're going to actually kind of be my spiller in this container. Okay, so this is the window box that we just completed and it is a little bit more um, neutral tones than I usually go for. Normally I have lots more oranges and more loud fall pieces, but I kept it a little more subtle and I really think it's beautiful. Um, so we have some ornamental peppers, there's a cabbage, there is a mixture of super tunias, there's the, I believe it's the latte, the black cherry, and then the midnight um, mini vista and then there's a, a Biden's in the back, and then it's the same thing on that side. And I just kept the Kimberly Queen Fern um, in the middle. If you don't have the fern, you could do something like a grass in the middle would be really pretty if you're wanting to keep that same, you know, um, neutral tone, you could do that. Or you could even add some more celosia in there if you are looking to give some more color. So that is all I have for you guys today. And I hope you, if you do any window boxes, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see them. See you soon, guys.